Oh, oh no. Ah, it's coming for me. Welcome back everyone for another episode of Subnautica. Now, I have gotten a few things done since last episode. I went ahead and made some adjustments. I added some bulkheads because, hey, you know, if you get a leak somewhere, you kind of want to protect the rest of the base. And I went ahead, I have finished out all the uh, the aquariums here, the alien containments, because I realized I forgot to come back and do this side. So this side's done, I just have no fish in here. I'm not sure what I want to put in yet. The middle one with all of our oculus, you can see just how many there are right there. There's just, I mean, so many swimming around right in there. And then I added, of course, we had that little spade fish egg I found. And then I went ahead and brought back some stalker eggs just so I could maybe get some stalkers going. It will go get some, you know, stalker teeth. And I decided I wanted to add something here. On each one, I built up another multi-purpose room above and put for now three water filtration machines in each one. I was going to do more, but then I saw it, you know, now, yes, that you have to have them connect to the, the back of the wall. So only three right now in each. So that means I actually have something to use up some of this 7,000 power that I have going, which also I do have some more power going, which I'll get to in a minute. But yes, you can see I've got three filtration machines on each one of these just in the top section. And that it really doesn't change much visually. It still looks pretty good, you know, like the middle one's longer and then the two side ones. So that, that's fine. You know, no problems there. And so I've got that done. Like I said, I put a bulkhead uh, in a couple places just to make it feel a little bit more logical. And then coming down here to the prawn suit deployment area, I have made some adjustments. Not here. Let me go ahead. We'll jump out this way. I did put in my windows. Never done a window like this in the prawn suit, you know, the moon pool. So interesting choice of it being a square window there. But yes, I made this which interestingly when i was trying to place everything down i found a spot underneath that one that I actually locked in and counted it as part of the base i built platform there foundation came down a little bit lower gave me a further option further option i just kind of built down and then i removed the excess one so now i have these so you basically just land and jump right up the problem is it's really weird about whether the power is connected or not like i had these active and then, you know, they're not working now. And then I'll come back if I take one almost completely off or even completely off. Maybe it'll start working. But it did do this before where suddenly they would stop working, then start working again. So it's really weird in that regard. And speaking of power, I do have a connector. This goes way, way down here. I went down into the deep Grand Reef into one of the openings. Uh, not that one. It was over here. I kind of should have gone through that one, but oh well. So I think it's this one. Yes, there we go. And it's, yo, know, comes down here and then we just keep going. And right over there, I have some thermal plants. So I've got a little bit extra power going. You know, I said I was going to do it. I do have a ton of solar power, but hey, we're going to make this a hefty base at some point. You know, we're just going to have a lot of power consumption going. I mean, I've got nine water filtration devices going right now and that ate through some power really quickly but yes that is what i've gotten done now so we do have a little landing pad here it kind of works it, it looks goofy because this part's not attached to anything that that part is so we'll have to make two but i'm going to go ahead and finish doing some decorations some adjustments like over here i'm going to put uh the a vehicle upgrade console for each one of these because I said I was going to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and have these done at least because that way it, this is pretty much finished down here. And so we've got that. I'll still have to go and uh, fix these. And look that look how much it's lagging now when I have the habitat builder in my hand and when I put it away, it's fine. So really stuttery, problematic game still. I will have to come back and do some uh, coloring with these and naming for now, they can stay unnamed and just default. But we're going to get a few things finished up here. I've got a whole bunch of stuff I want to get done at least today on this base. And then I think I'm actually going to call it quits on this one for a little while because of the fact that 
uh, I'm kind of getting burned out on it. I, I've been scratching my head all week trying to think of a way to do the habitation area, the residence area, and I just cannot find anything that I like. I just can't come up with anything like that. I'm also trying to come up with an idea for the tower, some way to rebuild it uh, effectively in the way, like the idea I have in my head and a way to make it work. So I want to go ahead and get a bunch of stuff done over here. That way, this is all finished. And I could basically say like, I'm, I'm done everything I know I want to do. And then we'll go on to another base for a little while and come back to this later on. Because it is pretty extensive. It looks pretty good. You know, I've got a lot going here. We've got a lot up top. Nice, big, massive tower still visible there. Yes, I do want to find some better arrangement for it. And I'm actually getting tired of the lag out here with all the plants too. So I'm going to do some more tidying up. And we'll see what all I can get finished today with my supplies that I have. All right, so I have come across something really odd. If you notice, it's extremely laggy and stuttery right now with the tube facing that way. If I turn it, it's perfectly fine. Completely okay once the tube is turned a certain way. And then, you know, next time I put one down, it lags up again. As soon as I turn it the right way, hey, it's perfectly fine. And I am out of glass, so it's time to go back and get some more. Well, I have my vertical connector coming up from down below and I can either take out some of the solar panels, which I don't want to do, or take out one thing of marble melons. Actually, probably two things of marble melons, so I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. But first, I'm going to make sure I'm topped off on my food before I start deconstructing everything with it. I, I, oh, I, I don't have room, I guess. There we go. So you can't just deconstruct leaving all the marble melons inside, but you know, might as well take advantage of them so I can get some food and me. And now it's working fine. Not even giving me any stuttering issues either direction. So there we go. We've got that. That should be, oh yeah, I'm missing quartz because I've been using everything for glass. So, all right, that will give me a connection back down all the way across over there. So that connects up there and that leaves only one other thing I want to do over on this side for the moment. And there we go. Hatch. Finished. There we go. Finished finally. Inner base. Oh, now I got to get my ladder. Duh, that's right. Okay, at least I actually still have some titanium left. And it kind of sucks you can't actually build on like the glass ones with these. So I've got glass going all the way over here. That connects up there. So we're good on that. And I still, I could build another little row out here, even though I'm not going to populate them right now because of stuttering issues. Uh, I've added some more windows on the side so you can actually look out better and see things. Because I have a ton of hull strength still, I added all those reinforcements over on the, uh, you know, aquarium multi-purpose rooms there. So yeah, I've still got 75 hull strength right now. And that means... It is time that I head back and get a bunch of supplies to build a really big addition. That it's finally time to build it. I've had the supplies for a while and I've been waiting and waiting. I'm finally going to just go ahead and put it in place. All right, so the piece de resistance. We are going to be doing the rocket launch platform. And I gotta decide how I want this to line up. It's going to be a little tricky, I think, getting it to line up right because it's not like, you know, other items. I'm not using the Habitat Builder. I'm building it right here. And it's probably going to end up saying, oh, you don't have room. Also, I had to bring build here. deeper water. Thank you. Yes, of course. Finally. Oh, maybe it's going to line up just right. If not, this is going to really mess things up. Oh no, it's going to break it. It I broke it. I broke it in my base. At least I saved right before doing this. Because I knew I was going to have some problems. So yes, I have saved. Oh! Oh no! Ah, it's coming for me! Ah! 
Well, that's going to launch me a little lopsided there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. Let's see if he'll let me climb correctly. Well, I, I turned the right way, climb up, no problem. I, I could build like this and it would still try and work. <laughs> oh, it did break my solar panels. The super strong solar panels. Yeah, okay, I, I can't leave it like this. We're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to load and try it again. All right, so this time it is not too far over on this side, but I think it's actually placing it inside the island there. Yes, it is. It has it inside the wall. That's just bad, you know, programming right there. Just make it, oh, it, it can interact with it afterwards, but not when you're building. Why, why can't I see the ghost of where it's going to be placed before it actually places it? Blah! Splash! All right, now, is it going to ride itself up? Like, is it going to fix everything? Because if it does, this is perfect. Actually, yes, it did. This is like... All right, so it righted itself <laughs> here. Kind of, you know, where I was wanting to go. It's not quite right. I can't really build and connect to it, unfortunately. It seems like a bad design choice to make it where we can't build and actually connect to it. So now I don't need the uh, vehicle bay anymore. So I can dump that and grab the rest of my supplies to build the entire rocket now in one go. I made sure I had all this stuff long ago when I was not sure where I wanted to build it. And now I want to build it here. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to finish this off building the rocket on the platform right here after it bounced off the island cliff there. All right, construct. Kick the music off. Yes, there we go. All right. Uh, now question is, is there going to be any way, like, could I, could I sit here and build a foundation over here? Oh no, it, it's, it, it's freaking out bad. That, oh, that was awful. Now if I can make a foundation somewhere where it won't freak out too badly, I can make a running jump onto it and then jump up there and have a way up to the rest of the platform. For now, we're just going to let this build. Such a wasted space. Like, why can't I not build right next to it? Like, seriously, seems like a, a loss that you can't build connecting to this. Is that done? Yes, it is. Build the boosters. Kick the music. There goes music again. I really want to see how this looks in the end. I'm going to have to do another, you know, free cam flyby at the end of today's episode. I want to see how all this looks now. While that's going, let's take a uh, shortcut. Oh, and I should put a should put a hatch over there, make it easier for me to get in and out that way too. We'll go over this way. Run in. Run this way. My power is going way back up now because my uh, water filtration is done. And there goes the sound of the rocket. Yep, it is online. It is done. Look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice! Looks well, really good right there. Now it's time to do some, what, can I customize it? I think I could customize it. I'll just run, I don't even have to jump, I can just run. My base color. Ah, uh, we, we gotta be spicy. I don't think I want that spicy. Uh. I can't change the yellow. I'll do that. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we're going to go with the red on this. Mm-hmm. That and the red on this. Very simple. The spicy... The spicy rocket. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Ah. Oh. My spicy rocket right there. Ready to go. As part of the big massive base over here. And no, it is not even. Of course it's not even. Why would it want to line up evenly? Alright, I forgot that I had a Seamoth already built here. 
And it worried me when I started counting up my supplies. I was like, wait a minute. I don't have enough for three sea moths. And then I started building them. I looked, oh, wait, there is one here. I already did one. Uh, the Whirlpool. I have not named these yet. So I've got to think about these. But I also did go ahead and add a battery charger and a wall locker on each one just so there's some storage and batteries. You know, hey, spare batteries, whatever, for them to charge up their tools when they go out because, you know, they might deploy out uh, on, you know, fin and flipper to do some work instead of just sitting in the sea moth the whole time. And so we've got a lot of stuff going. You can't even see the stuff in the distance there, really, where it connects above the water. Uh, so I've got plenty done. This is a pretty massive base, actually. I'm really surprised at what I was able to accomplish with this just so far. And it still got plenty more I can do. I just need a break from it, really. I'm kind of, you know, losing the flow of ideas. I can't think of ideas as readily now for it. And the ideas I do have, I'm not sure how to implement them at the moment. So I think I need a break. I need to move on to another setup. I need to move on to another base. And during the week, a commenter, Matt T, said to build in mushroom caves. Now, normally this would not have caught my attention, but as I started thinking about it, you know, there's actually a really cool option I can do there. So what I'll do is next episode, we're going to be back at the original base and building a very specialized type research facility in the mushroom caves there. Very scenic, a lot of thermal power, like Matt said, but also have an interesting idea I want to try in the design element there. But that's what we'll be doing next episode, and that's going to be it for today. Enjoy the nice fly around of the base that I have going right now. And of course, if you like what I've done so far with the base, if you like this episode, if you like the season so far, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I will see you in the next video.